Are you looking for something? A stable. Ah, yes. There's Miller's stable at the far end of the street. You can't miss it. And where can I sleep? And sleep good? There at the Gala Saloon, sir. You passed by just now. Gambling house and a hotel, bar and a restaurant. You'll like it. You want to earn a dollar? Take my horse to the stable. Yes, sir. What's your name? Scott what? And what was her name? Mary. It's as good as any other name. Why not call yourself Scott Mary? So what? Who knows for sure whether they'd laugh at it. When you get my horse settled, come on over to the saloon. My name's Talby. <laughs> It's all right. Would you like a whiskey, Scott Mary? He's my guest. So if he wants to drink, he's got to go to the kitchen. Scott Mary is my guest. My guests drink with me as long as I or they please. Get out! You'll have to use your gun. No! <laughs> You'll testify that I fired only after he aimed his gun at me. But he never tried. Now, how was I supposed to know that? A gun is not a toy. Drink up, Scott Mary. I don't like to hang around a dead man. <laughs> that your first? You better have another drink to keep a company. That Hart Perkins died in the course of an unprovoked attack, during which Mr. Frank Talby exercised... <laughs> Just one more question. No, it wasn't my first one, Nigel. You want me to put notches on my gun? The hearing is closed.
You've been following me, kid. You better come up with a good excuse or it may be your last one. I had to escape. They were out for my blood. Now, that's no excuse. I know how to draw, but I've never had a real... Maybe. First lesson. Never beg another man. How much money you got? Give it to me. It'll be useful for your second lesson. Second lesson, never trust anyone. Hello, Sartana. What's that? Tequila, senor. You see, it's the only thing we got here. But what's your throat? Around here, everybody takes a glass before taking a trip. Well, my trip ends here. You go tell that to Wild. My name's Talby. Third lesson, never get between a gun and its target. Hello, Wild. Come on in. Don't be a... You never can tell. I'm not after revenge, Wild. Give me my $50,000, we'll be friends again. I know that. I've been waiting 10 years to give you the bill. That's your business. Tell me your life story. Why don't you sit down? We were all set to pull a job in Abilene. The Clifton people had clean hands. They only passed on the information. They said they were going to alibi for me. Everything was perfect. There were no risks. We were to split the money down the middle. And those clean hands tricked you. You're damn right they did. They testified against me. The money disappeared. Well, what could I do? My word against a banker? Honest? Rich bastards. And so my 50,000 ended up in their pockets, too. 
Exactly. Well, why don't you go to Clifton now? Take your revenge if you have to. But get the money that's owed to you, and then you can pay your debt to me. I'll tell you what we can do. You get me the names of those people in Clifton. Then you go on down to Mexico. And you stay there. Let's say I'm buying your revenge for $50,000. Then the honest people of Clifton can owe their debt to Frank Talby instead. How's that? Or else, you have to pay. All right, Talby. I can't argue with you. You're too fast. Drinks for everyone. I want to celebrate the return of an old friend. Everybody drink. You ain't drinking? Not yet, Wild. Maybe you're telling the truth and maybe you're not. If everything goes all right, I'll drink to your health. In Clifton. Well, we'll drink, amigos. To Wild Jack's health. Yeah. <laughs> That's enough, Wild. Lesson. Punches are like bullets. If you don't make the first ones count, Scotty, you might just be finished. I'll remember that. Wild? You're forgetting something, Wild. I still want the names of those people in. Out Stafford Way. Kill him! You can't kill him! You wound a man, you better kill him. Or sooner or later, he's gonna kill you.
Little Pharaoh! Put your hands up. If you make a move, you're a dead man. Wild Jack responsible for this? And you're gonna be next. Now you're going for a nice little ride. <laughs> my life. You owe me nothing, but take me along, will you? Seventh lesson. If you untie a man, take his gun before that. Eighth lesson. Don't give a man any more bullets than what he's got use for. <laughs> Very good. All right, Scott, you can come with me. But don't get your hopes up too high, because it's a dirty life. Hi, Scott. Howdy. can I do for you, sir? I want to see all the pistols you got. P pistols? Yes. Pistols. Yes, yes. Yes, certainly, sir. Pistols. Uh, right away, sir. how it feels in your hand. All right, let's see how that gun belt fits. Put it on.
I will take the works, plus a hundred bullets. How much? The pistol and the gun bell come to fifty dollars. But the bullets, all I got is three dozen. Well, we'll take what you have, but you better get some more in stock. They're going to be very popular in a few days. Now, there's six for the gun. Uh, they're mine? All mine? Even the pistol, huh? Load it. Now, let's see if it's worth the expense. Good day, sir. Your belt's too high. Put the butt of your gun down by your wrist. Like so. All right? See what you can do with... You didn't waste a shot. Mr. Talby, how could you have aimed six bullets like that? Go slowly at first. You don't hammer a hammer. Just fan it. Come on here. What's all this rumpus? You better get your horse and disappear. Listen, Talby. I warn you, Perkins' friends have sworn to get you. Take it easy, Marshal. If I need any assistance, I can hire my own. He, Mr. Talby? That's how it started with Hart Perkins. No, only a warning. Mm -hmm. whether they show up or not. You sold your life for me. Mr. Turner? Ah, welcome back, Mr. Talby. And what brings you here? It's a matter of money. You wish to make a deposit? No, withdraw. But uh, you've no account. You've no account open here, Mr. Talby. I don't, but Wild Jack does. But, uh... Well, Wild Jack... <laughs> Wild Jack is dead. But the account is still open, and I've come to close it. Uh, what do you mean, sir? Bill Farrow is dead, too. But before he died, he signed a confession in which he listed all the names of his accomplices, including yours. Mr. Talby. What's the... the amount of the withdrawal? A thousand dollars. One thousand? Give me a thousand. Here you are. And now may I have that, that document? For so little? What do you take me for? Thank you. My money's safe with you. What does that mean? We're partners. 50-50, this whole place. I know I'm generous. I'm paying for something that's already mine. This is no joke. I lost my sense of humor. I inherited my hair from Wild Jack. I'm somebody in Clifton now. I've got a bank account now, half a saloon. And these scales of justice will be leaning the way I you just watch the way I tell them to. Now, son, it's a contract of partnership. And you sign it or tomorrow you end up on the gallows.
Good. Got a room for me? My boss now. Number seven. What did you make me sign? A nice, complete, detailed confession. All those people, they're locked up in their houses. The Perkins Ranch is to the north, so they should be coming from down there. A man on horseback has to divide his attention between his horse and his gun, so you cannot let them dismount. Now, find you do. And when you shoot, shoot fast and hit your target. on watch, huh? You better step aside a little. They're coming. Better get out of here. He spread his men around. <laughs> what are you waiting for? Good work, Scotty. Now nobody will dare get in your way. Not in this town. But you're wounded. No problem. It's just on the left side. Four dead and two wounded. I only shot after they knocked you down, Marshal. Scott, I think this town is ours. Where is he? You've taken... That's one of the men who attacked us. Scott, what did you do to him? He's acting like some rabid wolf. He was born a wolf. You made him rabid, not me. Hmm. You're pretty damn fast, Scott, Mary. Not bad. And now, may I go and take care of the other one? Go ahead. Was he your friend? He the one that showed you how to draw? Yes, it was him, Murph Allen. Murph Allen? That's right. He works in the stable down the street, Ron Miller's. Murph Allen Short. Now I remember. He's gotten so old he can't wear a gun anymore, huh? Yeah, I know him. He was a marshal in Abilene once. Ran me out of town with a rifle in my back. It was a long time ago, but I won't forget it. I should take your gun away and send you back to the stable. Yeah. It's too late. I want this building to stretch back just as far as it'll go because I want to be able to fit in that 30-foot bar that we've got. This is very important. Of course, Mr. Talbot, we'll make it as big as you want. All right, oh. now, I'll tell you what I want to do for my house. Been hit, Talby? <laughs> the old wound hasn't healed yet. Who is he? Is he with us or against us? Why did he save your life? Pretty soon we'll find out. My health, Nigel? No. This was Corbett's. Now it's yours. It's a great rifle in the hands of a good shot. Nigel, the weapon that's gonna kill me hasn't been invented yet. Who knows? 
You mean one of those games where they count off paces? Almost. Except on horseback and with front-loading rifles. You got a reason for this. I know. All right, I'll kill you any way you want. Tomorrow morning, at sunrise. <laughs> But I don't understand, Talby. There are times you have to accept a challenge. Or lose everything there is in life anyway. This is one of those times. But I wouldn't worry about it too much. Please, oh, don't do it. It, it. it wasn't my idea. Oh, don't. No, no. Don't ruin me. No, it wasn't me. I didn't want to. I'll do whatever you want. You know something, Mary? I don't like this place anymore. No? Pretty soon I'll be opening up my new saloon. You know what I'm going to call it? The 45, in honor of this one. Uh -huh. I'm dissolving our partnership. Now I want my half. Your thousand dollars. Now, come on, Murray. You know this place is worth at least 40,000. Now, I'm not good at mathematics, but I'm sure you can figure it out. But you gave me... No, 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 no. Whatever you want. $20,000. But I don't have it on me right now. I... It's enough for payment on demand. Sign it. Yeah. That's it. I'll fill in the amount later. Here's your receipt. I'm afraid there's nothing to be done, Scott. God be merciful to the man's soul. Thanks. We're You're the only one to win it. Well, once the moon's gone, let's build us another one. gentlemen. I don't think there's anyone, anybody, more sorry about Abel Murray than I am. Thank you. My friends, this 
this is your room for gambling. With the card, sir. Ten. Do so, Hawks. Round and round and round she goes, and where she stops, nobody knows. Get your bets in, please. Bets in. Next round. That's fine. Well, you're very lucky. Here you are. Two deputies are outside. They'll get what they're looking for. Thank you, Gwen. Two deputies are outside. What do we do? Just let him go to the upstairs, Mundo. You can go out the back where I came in. Be careful, these guys aren't just cowboys. Come on inside, we gotta celebrate. When did you get so sentimental, Scott Mary? The hell, Turner, find out down there. No! It's murder. Hand me your gun. We'll see what the jury has to say, Nigel. Friend. What's done inside the law is sometimes safer than what's done outside the law. You're still the smartest, Talby. That deal with Wild Jack. You know it's going to cost you $50,000 now. A reasonable price. But our alliance will yield at least twice that every month. Seeing as how someone's running away with your carriage. May I have the privilege of escorting you home? Thanks a lot, Mr. Talby. There's no better escort in the whole county. Champagne! We've got to celebrate. You're looking good. How's your arm? I can take care of myself. <laughs> You're faster than before. Because I exercised. I pushed myself out of bed to do it. to your recovery. The Marshall Star, who'd it go to? There is a new Marshall, ain't there? Yeah. Murph Allen Short. He might make a good sheriff. The tough one. In Clifton, I owe nothing to nobody. But to Murph, I'm very indebted. <laughs> of course, I'm indebted to you, too. I wouldn't want to be between two fires. I guess not. Unfortunately, Scotty, you're going to hesitate before shooting at me. If you do anything against Murph, it's also against... I hear you. You better come and get it. I may not be as fast as I used to be.
ever saying that to me? Sure I do, sir. Sure you want it this way, Scotty? You saw what happened to Murph. If I waited for you in the saloon, the sun wouldn't be in your eyes. My gun. Your last lesson, Scotty. When you start killing, you can't stop. Anytime you're ready. Find me a horse, Scotty. I'll get out of your way. I've learned your lessons like a good boy. You. <laughs> 